And today's light dishes taste great with Wesson sunflower oil. Wesson vegetable, corn, and sunflower oil. With every bite, you know you're frying right. Everybody here is so excited today because of our guest, and I am too. She is truly one of the funniest ladies, one of the most talented, but what may, some of you may not know, that she is truly one of the nicest, warmest people that I know and a friend, Miss Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Florence. Thank well, you. I, I want to ask Phyllis a quick question because so many women came up to me today when they found you were going to be on and they said, oh, tell her she was a role model for us. She gave us courage. And you did. I mean, at oh. 37 years of age, you jumped in. Well, you know, age has nothing to do with anything, really, unless maybe skydiving or toe dancing. <laughs> oh, you might put in mud wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I don't want women to feel trapped, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in, in a marriage or in anything. I mean, uh, you can get out of quicksand if, if you know somebody. <laughs> but no, I, but you I, did it. Yeah, and and yeah. you did it before women's lib. You oh, had yes. the courage yes. to do it. What did well, first you've got to get rid of all fear. Forget fear. And you've got to know who you are. And, and you've got to forget what other people think. Oh. People who go through life letting other people run their lives because what will they think doesn't matter. Because those people who would poo-poo what you do will be the first to borrow money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, we'll be right back in just a minute and Phyllis is going to make for us fish fillets Dijon. Okay, so come on back. Phyllis here is going to make her dish in just a moment. I have a little uh, surprise here for Phyllis. Now, you all know how, how funny she is and all of those things. You don't know what a sex symbol she is. And remember when, when Burt Reynolds uh, posed for the centerfold in Cosmopolitan? Well, Phyllis uh, also posed for a centerfold. It's kind of apropos of the dish that she's cooking today, which is, is fish. And I want you to see Phyllis's uh, centerfold. centerfold. It was in Field and Stream. <laughs> And, um, so wait a minute, wait, here it is. We want you to see this. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted you, you, one of your fans brought this to me yesterday. Well, and I said, please, let me show this on the air. So I, I, now we'll get right on with your, uh, well, I have been a centerfold, let's face it. Yeah, I haven't. Fortunately, the waiters came up to my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> She cracked me up. I can't. I'm a fan. Okay, you're going to make fish fillets Dijon? I certainly am. It's terribly okay. chic, darling. In fact, it's orange ruffy. Where's that from? New Zealand. New Zealand. It's sort of new in our country, and it's the most wonderful white fish in the world. Uh, let's see. Now, we have hot water here, okay? Yep. I think anyone can do that. <laughs> <laughs> no? Oh, but you start with cold water. And it's in all the recipes like that, and I learned today for the first time why. Why? Hot, if you use hot water out of the tap, it's been standing in that tank, eating for maybe 300 years. <laughs> God knows what's in that tank. <laughs> <laughs> so you start with cold water. Now I'm putting in wine, okay? Now I'm putting in a little... Lemon juice, uh -huh. that wonderful. Now I'm going to throw in. Uh, what is that? A, that's a handful of uh, the so tops off the celery. Good. You know, it's all. You know, it always bothers me to throw anything away that's usable, like the tops of celery. I know. I remember once we were on a plane trip and Phyllis was going around collecting all the little bottles that oh. alcohol came in. What were you making? Oh, I have a wine cellar, and they hang on strings. 
She just, she collects everything. Soap, so, candles. Well, candle. I don't like to waste anything, you know. You travel figure, with everything, they, too, don't yes, you? Yes, I certainly do. What all kinds of things do you travel with? Well, it's <laughs> lucky I had today. I my, my sink won't hold water there at the hotel. <laughs> So I wanted to wash out my undies, you know, uh -huh. and I, I carry one of those round, flat things, so I Did can, uh, the last last hotel that was a bathtub with a hold of water. I couldn't have had a bath. <laughs> Neither does his story hold water. But, no. but anyway, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so now, I, when they weren't looking, I put in uh, chopped up onions. Mm -hmm. Now we've got celery, wine, onions in Now that in smells the cold water. wonderful. It's starting to smell good already. Mm. See? Now we must put in the fish. Okay. Okay, we stick the fish in there. I'll just tell the orange, one. thank you. Orange rubby. This ah, is a yes. delicious oh, fish. Oh, yes. Now we'll cook those for five minutes in there while we make the sauce. Now the sauce is is Dijon, which merely means mustard. Mustard. In it, French. French. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, excuse me. I, I know, I don't think many people do this. Have you seen this rock? Oh. I <laughs> mean, look at that ring. Is that real? That's going to be a long engagement. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, how big is that? A ten. Ten mm. carats? Same as my shoe size. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, okay. I thought in order to make this totally non-fattening, mm -hmm. I didn't use flour. This is... Um, cornstarch? That's it. It is? Yes, cornstarch. Oh, I just guessed. Oh, well, you're pretty good at guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's cornstarch, yes. Get out there. Yeah, some okay, there you go. Yeah, it's stuck. And then we put, uh, oh. If I'm you have a baby, you can use that on your baby's bottom first. And then instead of talcum? Yeah. Oh, oh. sure, cornstarch is healing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Butter? Oh. <laughs> uh, this is the wrong pan. Gin oh, it doesn't brother. matter. Ginger is staring at us. She doesn't care. Wow. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, Ginger. then you put this in here. This is milk. <laughs> Low-fat milk. Uh-huh. Mmm, Ginger just had a heart attack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger is our, our food stylist, and she yes. kind of helps us out here on the so, show. Someone's giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> when Jimmy Walker was a guest, he tried to give her mouth-to-mouth, -mouth and they arrested him. But... <laughs> <laughs> now, in here, I put the cornstarch, and I put it in melted butter, mm -hmm. and uh, then I'm going to put... I put the Dijon mustard in, and then I put the lemon juice uh -huh. in. This, will, this is all written up in a lovely recipe. Oh, well, I'll give that to oh, the you later. Don't worry about it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Now then, now you, you take... You why, whip. Why are they laughing? Because you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of cooking failures, I'll tell you that. Oh, you're a wonderful cook. Well, I am now. But I, at one time, when I was making this kind of a sauce one day, I had DuPont interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'll tell you why. I couldn't get the spoon out. <laughs> and uh, when I would stir it, the whole kitchen went around. <laughs> and that fanned the hell out of the fire. <laughs> the kitchen was on fire. Oh, Phyllis. Because, uh, well, it was a grease fire. Oh, it was? In the sink. <laughs> Oh, I have a greasy sink. <laughs> but uh, you've got a stopper for it, so uh, it's okay. That's right. yeah. but I have watched cockroaches slide to their death. <laughs> uh, honest to God, in my sink, it's either skate or die. <laughs> skate or die. That's right. Okay. Now, well, after these things have uh -huh. been boiling for five minutes, this mm -hmm. is called poaching. You know that, mm -hmm. don't you? In the Old West, that was a, what a robber did. He poached. Oh, he did? Uh-huh, yeah. Why? What is the connection? Well, poaching. Between... None, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd bring it up. Okay. Uh, th 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 okay, okay right. now what? Now we... Shall we, shall we, th sure, shall we serve bring it up? Bring the plates? Okay. okay, good. We don't have to taste this, do we? Not, not now. Okay. A little later, right, after I it. sing. <laughs> okay. okay, over here. Now, first we put the... Now, the chic things, ladies and gentlemen, the chic thing now is to put the sauce on the bottom of food. In other words... Oh, really? Oh, the chic. Why? Uh-huh. <laughs> Nouvelle cuisine, does. I see. Yeah, what okay. you do, you put the sauce... Oh, I don't want that. You put... <laughs> Here, take one of these one little they guys. They took my wooden spoon away. So oh, they like that. We have no... Now, you, you put the sauce on the bottom. That's the latest mm -hmm. thing. Uh, you, uh, and, that, and then you put whatever it is on top. Okay. You do that for desserts and everything because yeah. it's just terribly chic. Well, then we oh. want to be chic here, don't we, Falk? I don't. Want to be chic? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Well, you might as well make it look good. Okay. Now, you put the orange roughy 
mm. with celery and everything. Well, you're not you supposed to do that. Oh, no, that's... I, I thought, thought it looked kind of cute. pretty. Yeah, but you want to try to let the water drip off. Ooh. Oh, yes. Ooh. Now the <laughs> other one. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Isn't that... It's going to be awfully nice. Really? Now, garni is mm -hmm. one of the most important things about food. Garni. To make sure... Garni. Mm-hmm. Uh, so That's that, the stuff you add, right? So that it looks nice. Pretty. It must look pretty. You're garnishing with paprika? Paprika. This paprika. is nice, fresh paprika. I can tell because it's nice and red. I have some at home that turned black. <laughs> um, you know, Phyllis kids about her home. She has one of the most beautiful homes that I've ever, I've ever seen. But I don't yeah. live in that one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Where do you live, Phyllis? I have a filthy apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I rent that when I have a party. <laughs> I see. And I come over there and pretend. Well, this and just I looks beautiful. Up. We'll Ooh, come back in a minute hey, and show you this, but I want to hey, recap this oops. recipe for is, you is now. Okay, here we go with Phyllis's orange roughy. Okay, you combine cold water, lemon juice, white wine, celery tops, chopped onion, and you put your salt in a very large pot. You bring that to a boil, and then you add orange roughy fillets. Cook below boiling for about five minutes. You melt your margarine in a saucepan, and then you remove from the heat, stir in cornstarch until blended. You gradually stir in low-fat milk. You gently boil for two min minutes, stirring constantly. And then when thickened, you remove from a heat, stir in Dijon mustard and lemon juice, pour sauce into plates, place fillets on sauce, or fillets, as they say in England, and then you garnish. Garnish. And well, it's going to be wonderful. And we'll be back in just a minute with a wonderful team, Williams and Ree, and they're going to make chocolate pear tart. If you love crispy, juicy fried chicken, and who doesn't, fry with all natural Wesson vegetable oil, and what do you know? You're frying right. Wesson's 100% all natural. Crispy and light, you're frying right. With no additives. You know, not every oil is all natural, but Wesson is 100%. So go ahead, take a bite. You know. Wesson vegetable oil, one of three all natural oils from Wesson. You're frying right. Coast. picture of this because uh, it is beautiful and I can't wait to taste it. This is the way I like to eat. Uh, oh, the, Bruce the, and Terry's. Yeah, oh, the, is that sweet. She wanted to show their dessert. The guys didn't do bad. They will appreciate yeah, that so much. Show. Phyllis, thank you for coming today. I adore I love you. It. Thank you all for coming. We'll see you next time. Okay? Now we get now to we eat. eat. Now we eat. Hey, 